Let's practice using the word apt, meaning correct or per appropriate for the situation. Here is a situation. Mary had to go to a party. It was a very fancy party. Let's make a question. Let's make a good idea wear jeans to party question. So, you know, when you ask somebody, is this a good idea? Many times you would ask, you would use the word should. So let's, let's use should, meaning do you think that's a good idea? That's what should means here. Uh, should she? Should she wear? Should she wear jeans to the party? So imagine you're invited to a very fancy party. Are you going to wear jeans? Do you think that's a good idea? Is it right to wear jeans to a fancy party? Maybe you disagree with me, but I would say no, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea to wear jeans to the party. Uh, should she wear jeans to the party? Answer no. No, she. No, she shouldn't. No, she shouldn't. No, she shouldn't wear jeans to the party. Make a why not question. Why not? Why shouldn't? Why shouldn't she? Why shouldn't she wear jeans to the party? Now let's answer the question. Because it is not appropriate. That is not the right situation to wear jeans to the party. Uh, it's not the right choice of clothing for the party. We can say jeans are not apt. And that means they're not correct in this situation. Jeans are not apt for this formal party. Jeans are not apt for this formal party. It's not correct. It's not right for this situation. Let's let, now let's say also sneakers. And just in case you don't know what sneakers are, let me just I'm just going to pull up a picture of sneakers here. Uh, here are some sneakers, just in case you don't know. Sometimes they go by different names, but I would call these sneakers. Gym shoes, trainers. I have, they have a lot of different words for this. Okay, so how would you say also sneakers not appropriate? Sneakers not appropriate. Neither are sneakers. Neither are sneakers. Jeans are not apt for the party. Neither are sneakers. Jeans are not apt for the party. Neither are sneakers. It's not a good idea to wear jeans. It's not the appropriate time. It's not the right time to wear jeans. Also, not the right time for sneakers. Jeans are not apt for the party. Neither are sneakers. Let's try another situation using the word apt. Here is a situation. Mike had to buy a birthday present for his niece. And she is only five years old. Let's make a good idea question, okay? Uh, do you think it's a good idea to buy a book for niece question? Let's use should. Should Mike, should Mike buy, should Mike buy a book for his niece? His niece is only five years old. Should Mike buy a book for his niece? Should he, should he, should he buy, should he buy a, should he buy a book? for his niece, for his niece. Should he buy a book for his niece? Should he buy a book for his niece? Now let's answer yes. Yes, if it is the correct type of book. If it is the appropriate book. Because if it's a five-year-old, you can't give her a big book with a lot of words, right? So. Uh, yes, he should buy a book for his niece if it is apt for a five-year-old. If it is apt for a five-year-old. If it is the right type of book for a five-year-old. He should buy a book for his niece if it is apt for her. If it is apt for a five-year-old. Okay, now let's make a what kind of book apt for five-year-old question. <laughs> what kind of? What kind of book? What kind of book is apt? What kind of book is correct? What kind of book is appropriate? What kind of book is apt for a five-year-old? What kind of book is apt for a five-year-old? 
And here's the answer. A book with a lot of pictures. A book with a lot of pictures. A book with a lot of pictures is apt for a five-year-old. A book with a lot of pictures is apt for a five-year-old. Okay, now that we understand a little bit better how to use the word apt, and we understand the word beneath, 